Hey everybody, we're a little bit early today. We're gonna have a happy a little bit earlier because supposedly the storm Laura is supposed to hit here in Little Rock at three. 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 But I've been watching, I've got to turn my phone off. I forgot to, um, I've been watching the radar and it doesn't look like it's gonna be quite as bad as we thought it was gonna be. But just as soon as I say that, it'll probably turn into a terrible situation. So actually here at the store, we have closed at one and sent all the employees home except for the designers who did not want to go home yet because they had stuff they wanted to finish up, which um, will always be here tomorrow. But anyway, so we still have a small staff, but front the showroom is closed. We've closed all of our stores so all of our employees can get home without it being a problem safely, hopefully. So, but we're still here. So Christy and I are going to do a couple things, a little bit of happy. Um, um, one of the main things is my sister texted me this morning. She goes, I really need a little happy today. So this is for Gayla as well. She says she needs a little pick, pick me up. So Gayla, this one's for you. Um, we're going to work on a wedding bouquet that we have a pick up for tomorrow. And then all this is going to come all that. We're going to make some fall centerpieces later on. So let me go ahead and get all my flowers ready. We're going to go ahead and take all of our leaves off as usual there. So how is the happy family out there today? I think everyone's good. We have friends from Puerto Rico, Georgia, Miss Yolanda from California, Pennsylvania, Florida. Oh my goodness. Conway, North Carolina, Phoenix, Georgia, Ireland. Well, I've been kind of watching all of our friends down in Houston and in South Louisiana. Um, a lot of them say they survived it. But they're not sure about the about the damage yet that they've gotten a lot. None of them have any power. There's no power. I don't think the, it looks like the whole state of Louisiana has no power. So I feel for you. That's my biggest my biggest thing is I don't want to lose power. But as soon as I say that, we'll probably lose power because I lose power time. Yeah. It rains hard in Little you Rock. You always lose power. power. <laughs> and that's my grandparents too. They yeah. always lose power. Always lose power. And we're always the last ones to get it back on too. So, with that being said, let's make this bridal bouquet ultra traditional. It's going to have white Playa Blanca roses, white ranunculus. I forgot to clean those. We've got to stop and do that first. Blue, dark blue hydrangea, blue thistle, some miniature calla lilies. Ooh, so pretty. And a little bit of wax flower. My nose is running for some reason. Anyway, so let's clean those ranunculus up first. So, when we get started, we don't have to start and stop. So I'm gonna take all the foliage off those. My favorite flower. Oh my gosh, I need to check my phone. Why? I need to do a shout out for um, Miss Floyd's mom. And I forgot to write it down before we started. Maybe I'll wait and do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow, I don't remember who it was. Oh, well she sent it to me, I asked on her. Sunday we're gonna try to do, Saturday, Saturday, not Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, we're gonna do try again from offsite. Uh, oh, uh, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, we are. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're gonna be on the river. We're gonna be on the river, and we're we gonna think be that it river. will be great. Uh -huh. So we have friends from Massachusetts, Sligo, uh -huh. Illinois, Alabama, Pensacola. Lots of people saying, just be careful. Like y'all just need to be careful. Everyone, be careful. Well, honestly, I'm. Renee and I went to lunch and it really is not doing anything and we watched we kind of watch the radar all the time see but you said your radar doesn't show any red and my radar shows red does it yes well I'm just going off the app oh well if we get blown away maybe no. we'll get blown away to one of our happy families towns <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy yep, you're gonna click your heels or what uh -huh. yep I'm gonna click uh -huh. my heels <laughs> Did you see the comment the lady made today about no. that we're like an SNL skit? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if that was a good thing or if it was a bad thing. Oh, gosh. No, she, I did not see it. She, she said she found us on YouTube or something and that they, she goes, now I see why you're popular because you're just like watching an SNL skit or something like that. I was like, oh, oh gosh. my goodness. Um, well, here we are then. Here we are. Here we go. Right. So we have more friends from South Carolina, Florida, <clears throat> Kentucky. More from Kentucky. Great. So let me do a little trick, or not a little trick, but a little tip. As far as when you're using mini cow lilies, I always want to make sure that the noses or the little tips of these always are radiating from the center. Like they don't crisscross like that. 
So it almost it reminds you, I always say this about water or a fountain of water, how can things come up out of the middle and then flow out. You want the same effect with these cow lilies. So you always want to make sure these are all coming from the center and go out. Miss Alice says she's watching from the Honeybake Ham parking lot and she's oh, sending greetings from goodness. Alabama. I love Honeybake Ham mm. and Honeybake Turkey from there. Miss mm. uh, Paulette says she's watching from Alabama. Miss Sharon said it's coming towards us. South Arkansas is out of power in many areas. Oh my goodness. Uh, Miss Molly said we're evacuating for from Laura in Tyler, Texas. Oh no. Oh no. Really? Uh, hi from Australia. From Texas, what's the name of the small white flowers that you are using? These or this? Well, or the wax flower. Uh, probably wax flower. Wax flower, wax mini flower. calla lily, mm. ranunculus. And I'm really not a big component of doing that little mix of stuff, but this has a picture and she had little, little filler flowers, so we want the bride <laughs> to love it. Miss Daisy said SNL needs to do a happy skit. Oh. Very funny. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? Miss Diana <laughs> said, what? You're on early. Will Ferrell would probably play me if we were on the old one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. We are on early because Yeah, we're on early weather. because we're supposed to be going, getting home early because it's Laura's supposed to hit here at 3 or 3 to 3.30. Is that what your dad said? 3 to 3.30 is what Glenn said. Yeah. But so. he's no meteorologist, so I don't know. He's no Ned. He's no not Ned, Ned. no. Mm -hmm. Uh, Miss Kay is watching from Target in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Oh, goodness. Everyone's just saying, please be safe. Oh, we are. Chris likes to live on the edge. You know, I used to be terrified of storms. I used to, when we lived, in Woodruff, when we lived at home in Woodruff County, and we would all, it seemed like we were always in Tornado Alley in Woodruff County. And I used to, like, plot. I should have been a weatherman, actually, because I would get out my old encyclopedia, and I'd take the ruler and see where the storms were coming, and just kind of lose my mind and my mom was just the opposite of that of course i think she got that from my dad who, who she said would used to just go out and watch the weather go by and then when i met my wife she was just the opposite of me she always like if it's meant to be it's meant to be so i just kind of have taken well, on I, that attitude about it as well so yeah, i'm kind of in the middle on that i'm kind of like if it's meant to be it's meant to be but at the same time i'm like you also have to be smart well, that takes all the fun out of it christine well that's true so Anyway, you know I, I don't just live, on, the live edge. on just don't not I don't live on the edge, but just I don't get as worked up about it. So we have free a lot of people. They must have looked at the radar because they said y'all need to be careful. It's coming towards y'all. Okay. Um, we have friends that said I noticed you don't twist or turn when you make your bouquet. Um, I do a little, but I don't do a spiral like some. I guess I should. Maybe I should. No, you do great. You do you. <laughs> we have friends from Houston that said it wasn't bad at all. Just had some rain. Lake Charles area and the small towns along Louisiana coast did fare so well. Here in South Louisiana and Cajun country, we had some rain and high winds, but thankful no loss of power. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I was kind of really Miss Leslie about. said, you weather nerd, you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a weather nerd. Someone said, you're in a good place in the basement. That is exactly oh, right. Oh, exactly. We, are, we are like, if it were even like her, come a hurricane, this would be the place you'd want to be. This actually was an old atomic bomb shelter in the 50s for the community. So, so Miss Jane, I'm not exactly sure where she lives, not in the United States, but she said, our son is currently in the U.S. in Oklahoma doing a football scholarship, and he loves the U.S. Oh, well, great. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, awesome. Oh, no, Miss Terry said the safe room in there in her town is closed due to COVID. Well, oh, that's gosh. not very safe, That's is not it? safe. Yeah. We have friends from Fort Lauderdale, from Texas, Ireland. Great. Jacksonville, North Carolina, Guam. So, do, what do you think about this for that bread? I like it. She's loved everything else I've sent her. Okay, great. Looks pretty. Okay, I'm just going to tape this off. Okay, I'll send it to her after. Okay. And I'm going to actually leave it long. Okay. And then we'll recut it when we get done. And I'm going to set it down in this bucket. Okay, perfect. So, last chance to look at this, guys. 
going All bye -bye. for a traditional colonial round bouquet. Easy peasy. Just pretty white and blue flowers. I that, love that, white and blue. That one needs to come down a little bit. Which one? That cow lily? I was, that one right there. Yep. I was thinking the same. Yeah. Everyone said it's beautiful. Please be careful. It's pretty colors. Yeah. We might want to, when we get done Christina's look, especially take all these little tips out because it wasn't weedy, the okay. picture that she sent. Perfect. This may be a little bit too weedy for her, so we can just clip that out. Okay. okay. All right. I'm going to put that in the bucket and we're going to play with some fall flowers now. Let me clean this off. People said beautiful bouquet. Miss Donna Lawson said pretty bouquet, and she has a package coming her way. Oh, awesome. She got some silks and some, well, maybe I shouldn't say everything she got because she got quite a bit. So um, hopefully she enjoys it all. Maybe like the Amazon packages every day. Yep. Anyway, so look, da -da, look what, look what Christina got in for me. We have a new turntable, kind of loud, but we're going to see if we can make it work or not. So let's, if y'all like it or don't like it, tell us because... Yeah, you know, we're just playing with it. So today, in all the arrangements, we're going to work with some seed eucalyptus, some safflower. It has another name in Canada, I know, and I don't remember what it is, and also in Europe. Some African marigolds, or large marigolds. Some more amaranthus, but look how cool this one is, though. It almost looks like little dreads. It's got all kinds of little runners off of it. I don't really know the name of it other than it's amaranthus. Some rebecca and that pretty rust color again. And then we've got tons and tons of sunflowers, some solidago or goldenrod, commonly called, some parvifolia, and then some nine bark, and then lots and lots of sunflowers. So sunflowers are gonna be the, the theme throughout the whole thing today. So we have lots of people saying they love the new turntable. Oh, good. Miss Paula said it's not loud. Oh, good. What? So um, I have to read this comment because this is what I say. Miss Melissa, she said, he says it's easy peasy. I'd be like, Lord, help me. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Um, Miss Cynthia said she's from Phoenix. You know, she's my friend. That, she's my mom's friend from tour. And uh -huh. she said her daughter's shower is on Saturday. It's a beautiful bouquet that you made. Oh, good. So Lots gonna, of people saying yes. Did you do a price on the basket yesterday with the pumpkins? Not yet. You, I just carried it upstairs about 10 minutes ago. We kind of moved on to something else pretty quick after that one, didn't we? We did. You know, we had a lot going we've on yesterday. Spinning. Yeah, we've been spinning for two days. So, sunflowers. Once again, we're going to watch and make sure that those heads naturally, see how that naturally turns that way? Well, that means you actually want to put it in so it turns out from the center of the center of the bowl, right? Miss Danielle said a little WD-40 on the ball with there we barrels go. will help the noise. That's right. It fixes everything. So I'm going to put those in. Someone said that it looks slippery. Do you think that it's slippery on top? This? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was old when they sent it. Don't you imagine? Probably so. We got it from yeah. Maple Leaf. Maple Leaf. And they actually, their, their big deal is they customize and put... Uh, what well, I guess they etch them, or I don't know what the correct term would be branded, but they carve different. Like these would be so cool. Do we do a lot of this where we'll do like a grandmother's recipe that they want to pass down to generation and put it into a serving mm -hmm. tray or something like that for the bride? Which I think is so fun. Someone asked, "Is this turntable for sale?" Well, of, of course, course it it's is. for sale, and it even has Chris's touch on it. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> How much does the average bridal bouquet cost? Our bouquets run anywhere from $85 to $150 normally. But that's, you know, here's the deal with all that. If you were to come to us and say, I love this color and I love this look, we're going to play the market and try to find you the best value that we can. If you come in and say, I need, you know, David Austin, da da da, -da Rose, and only this rose will work, and I need, you know, peonies that are out of season, then at that point, we have to go back and do costing to find that product, and we have to double order it a lot of times because I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, 
And if that rose doesn't look good from this grower, at least I have a backup for the next grower. So if you let us play the market, then we're able to give you better value. If you're real specific, we're gonna get what you want, but in the same hint sense, you're gonna to have to pay probably what, double the price on that? Yeah. Sometimes. So yeah. we have lots of people asking questions. So how much are the sunflowers right now? The sunflowers are, I want they two ninety nine or something. Or? I honestly can't answer that. Yeah, I don't really remember either. I haven't looked at that. So someone said they feel the same way about sunflowers that I do about sticks. Ah! <laughs> um, we have a few people asking how much is this turntable? Do you remember? I think it's one forty seven. I don't know. You put that was it on the there. price today. Yeah. One forty seven. One forty seven. Okay. Um, and then someone asked if you have a cold because you sound nasal. I do have a. I don't know if it's a cold or if it's. I've gotten my wife's sinus infection. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah. Hopefully not Corona. Uh, hopefully not. Um, right. So someone from New York said they pay anywhere from $300 plus for bridal bouquets. Guess we need to be in New York City, huh? Yeah. Yeah. New York City? Miss mm. Ann said her birthday is Monday. She said we can just send that arrangement to oh, her. Awesome. We might just do that. It'd be kind of hard to get there, wouldn't it? That would be. Miss Terry said it might just be from you wearing the mask. No, I bet I know what it's from. The sunflowers. Maybe so. Because you know how I get when I get around things that have little fuzzy, furry things on them. So, Hybrid. what is that stem, leaf stem that you put in? This one? Yes. Nine bark. So we have to give a shout out to Lynn Nichols. She is, or he is a huge fan from the UK. Awesome. Shout out, Lynn. <laughs> Miss Kathy said, why are you two still at work? Isn't the weather supposed to be crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know us. We might get blown away, but we might end up in, I don't uh, know, Tennessee, uh, Alabama. Uh, don't say that. I don't want to, I don't want to fly today. Anyway. You don't, you don't want to be Dorothy? <laughs> no. We no, are, really. we honestly are in probably the one of the safest places in the city. Believe but not, it or not when we get out in not the, get in the car. drive yeah. home. Fortunately, I don't live near, near as far as you do from the store. I only oh, live about okay. five minutes away from the store. I'm um, like 12. It's okay. So. so is that Nine Bark? That's Nine Bark. Um, Miss Janet yeah. said, howdy from California. She loves your show. Oh, good, good, good. Let me edit these as I go through. You know, the, the thing about these marigolds about for every one you get you got about two that aren't usable and man they are i know i don't have corona because i can still smell these things so so miss smith said do you know the final arrangement before you make it no, no. way <laughs> no we're just playing today miss carol said i <sighs> thought you were closed no shutting the happy down yay well and we had p several people when they posted that going like and oh my goodness no happy day have y'all be careful you know so i tried to go back and catch all those and say hey we're going to be on at two we're going to be a little bit earlier because supposedly it's supposed to hit her at three and we don't want to be out in the middle and you know what i don't think it's so much the storm it's going to be it's the, the wind no it's the traffic oh, well the traffic too people get crazy here when it rains or storms um do you have lunch with your wife every day i do every, every day every day that was one of the first things I learned when I was Mr. Chris's assistant is don't schedule a meeting between 11 and 2 because he's going to be at lunch. Well, not the whole 11 to 2. Well, but no, but sometimes anywhere, it's like anywhere, you know, 11.30. Anywhere or, in there was going right, to be. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about diva. Banker's hours, 11 to 2. Anyway. So, so let's go back and add a little bit of safflower now. So lots of people said, well, you can't stop the happy, but please be safe. <laughs> well, we were concerned about changing the time of it because so many people were so accustomed to that. But I think we're going to have to make an exception today. So Miss Abigail is watching from Ireland. We need to give her a shout out. Uh, hey, Abigail. They had bad weather too, didn't they? I'm not sure. I need an update on the fires from California. All right, we got because, a lot of California because people Because if you notice on national news, it's like no one's talking about it right now. They're talking about the hurricane, which I understand, but there's still a and lot. We don't know about of our other happy. Yeah, family. I just really still worry about all that. So, 
Everyone's saying you're a good husband. How nice yeah. of you. And she's got all the money too. She's got, she can keep the paycheck. So I gotta have money. To, I gotta eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when will we meet Miss Chris? <laughs> <laughs> you probably never will. You probably will. won't. No, you probably won't. She is very uh, not. She's uh, more camera shy than me, y'all. Yeah, she's major camera shy. Who cooks? Um, <laughs> I do a lot of cooking when we eat, and she does cooking too. It's a let's she say she makes the best brownies ever. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a community effort. How's that? There we go. Team she work. she she reads the menu to or the recipe. I put I mix it, and then she tells me how much I did it wrong. As far as you you put too much in there, I'm like so because I was raised a smidge of this, a little pinch of that. You know, it don't have to be exact, and that Definitely. drives her crazy. There's a reason they did recipes, really. Well, I don't know, but I'm just an old country cook. Ireland had two storms, but they've passed now. They're know, thinking they, about us. Yeah, they had like, didn't they have like, do they have hurricanes there too that go up the coast, or is it a different name for that? I'm not sure. Is that goldenrod that you put you know, in? It is goldenrod. We call it Solidago, though, actually. Will we get to see you this weekend <coughs> at Enchanted Evening? No. Our, um, we're going to do it from a private home that a wedding is at this yeah, weekend. Yeah. Oh, you're spinning off the table. Oh, sorry. Can Chris give advice as to when the bride should start talking to the florist? Like you know, how many months ahead? You know, to be honest with you, that's all about comfort level. And it's also about how important it, you know, some brides, flowers are like the most important thing. So they want to get started really, really early. Some brides, not important. They could easily walk in the week of or the day before and order if they don't care. So it all depends on your comfort level and how much, how much enjoyment you want to get out of it, right? When you say Christina, that's right. We've had some brides that start planning two years out. We have some brides. Most that of like, our brides now. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be in trouble for my nose running. Um, a lot of our brides are about what four months now. I'd say four, four to, to six, six months. months. Four to six months. Okay, it's not so, like it used to be. It used to be a year. So this is not good. There has been a chlorine leak in one of the refineries near, near like Charles, and everyone's been ordered to stay indoors because it's very dangerous to inhale. Oh, no. Man, y'all, we're thinking about y'all. Y'all just getting it from all around. You must cook like Paula Dean. <laughs> I do, and I'm kind of carry on like Paula Dean when I'm cooking. Okay, so too. here's the update on California. From Miss Janice, we still have a number of fires here in Northern California in the Saharas and Cascade Range. Oh no! E and they're not contained at all. I mean, there's no containment. So we have someone that they're from a farm in Ecuador that can provide us with premium rose, premium rose varieties if we can get them in contact with our department. If you want to just message us, we can get you with Miss yep. Frida. We would love that. Yep. The truth be known, Miss Brady probably already <laughs> talked to him. Guess what Miss Gallagher said? What? But Miss Christina, can she make the bacon like you? Uh huh. Exactly. Yes, yeah, she yeah. can. She can make the bacon just like her. I can. I can. Mm -hmm. make she does that quite the best often, bacon. actually. Mr. Chris can. She actually close. does that exact same bacon recipe sometimes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, so lots of people said that arrangement is beautiful. That one makes them happy. How gorgeous. Good. They love the orange and yellows together. Awesome. Miss so. Sarah just found out that her son and his fiance are getting married in their backyard on October 17th. Oh, good. Well, congratulations. Someone said they really like our turntable. Where could they get it? If you just want to message us, we can we order, can you, order one. you one. Yeah, yep. We can get, you know, like an initial on it or something on it. We just didn't put anything on ours, but. Yeah, didn't, didn't do that. We figured by the time we got through with it, it'd be all so scuffed up it wouldn't matter anyway, right? That's right. Um, Miss Linda said Chris is on a roll today. So this is <laughs> arrangement number four. Number four. Number right. four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Cash right. is calling. 
bring home oh no <laughs> <laughs> that's not something for tonight i know oh gosh miss cynthia said i looked so beautiful last weekend well thank you so much one of my dearest friends got married and you worked your patootie off i did it wasn't quite a vacation i worked uh, yeah. but i love doing it so yeah um are we going to get to turn this table and see the front yes we are Look it's at that, so something. pretty. What are you caught on? I don't know. It's oh, there you go. Um, s lots of people saying it's lovely. Praying for safety for friends in Arkansas. Is that golden rod that he put in this one? Uh, yes. Um, how many pieces are needed to to make the? Uh, it's available for flowers for a bridal arrangement. Oh, it does. Gosh. It all depends. Yeah, it just it depends. It goes all totally. over the board. For sure. So we're just going to block Ms. this Susan one Susan said we should have put happy on the turntable. And I really thought about putting like happy in quotes because I always put happy in quotes. But uh -huh. then we decided that if someone wanted to buy this one, that they probably didn't want it to say happy. So. Miss Heather said you make it look easy. Miss Joanne said, does this mean we get happies until 3 today? No. No. What time is it now? It's 2.31. Oh, well, we're almost done. Well, that's okay. We're good. We're chair scraps now. So on this Maybe one, the golden rod's causing uh, an allergic reaction to you. No, it's, it doesn't do that. Oh. Um, I think it's from being around that fuzzy stuff because I was going through the cooler, going through some other stuff. Miss Yolanda, I see your comments. She just said, oh, wow. Uh, Miss Judy said, if, if she's allergic to goldenrod, what's an alternative? For a filler? Uh, you can pretty much do all kinds of stuff right now. Let's think about that. I would just do a variety of greenery. Variety uh -huh. of greenery? Greenery. Mixed greens. Or more sticks. So someone said, I thought people were allergic to goldenrod. People they, are, but you're saying you're not allergic to it. Yeah, and this variety has been depollin. It has, it's been crossbred. It doesn't pollinate like the goldenrod, as far as I know, that causes a lot of allergic reaction, or hay fever, more or less, from people. So with that being said, that's why we use it. it it's not the same as the stuff that grows out on the side of the road. Okay. Miss Karen said hello from Pennsylvania. Awesome. Miss Christine said it looks lovely. Awesome. Miss Victoria said thank you for sharing your talents. Well, happy to do it. I'm just gonna clean up the table with this. What's the pink stuff? The pink stuff. Probably the this is amaranthus. Miss Kathy said this is a perfect little arrangement. We're gonna take all of our leftovers and we're just gonna make a little bitty clutch. Are these arrangements for something special? Nope. Just because. I might actually photograph a couple of these to put in the inventory for fall. Sure. Especially that drop it one. Yeah, that one's great. I love that sunflower one yeah. in the back. Yeah, we've got something real similar to that already. Yeah, we do. So Ms. Yolanda said, tell Chris what I said, how fast he is today with doing so many happies. I didn't see that comment, but there we go. Miss Linda says, hello from Alabama. Miss Susan uh, said, both of us need to be safe. We actually are safe. Down here in stormy, windy Crossit. So it's bad in Crossit right now? Sounds like it. Oh, gosh. People are saying that it's lovely. It looks, this, these arrangements are beautiful. Well, good. And happy, happy, happy. Well, there's just nothing special, just a little... Miss Carol said, it's amazing what you can do with leftovers. Well, just a little, left, little bit of this, a little bit of that. Where are we located? We are located in Little Rock, Arkansas. And we are at 1801 North Grant. We also have a Tipton and Hearst in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. We have another Tipton and Hearst in Conway, Arkansas. And so we are a little here, a little there. So Miss Deborah wants to see you make an arrangement in the shape of an animal, like as a dog or a cat. Mmm, mercy. Hmm. Mmm. 
That is a challenge. So we have lots of people asking if you're sick or if these flowers are making you sick or why are you sick. I don't know what's going on with my nose running. I'm sorry. It's gross the way I'm just doing my nose. But anyway, better than I'll be in trouble because I didn't. Well, you need to take some Benadryl. Uh-huh. So lots of people said they love the leftovers. Miss Becky said it's getting very wind gusty. Yeah, that's the wind. The part Ms. that Sandra we Miss Sandra said she's in Hamburg and the rain is letting up, but the wind is still gusty. Okay. Lots of beautiful arrangements. Have the zinnias, are they gone? Are they out? We can't seem to get them locally right now. I don't know what the deal is because I thought we were going to have like tons of zinnias this year, but our supplier is not coming forth with them. So anyway. Ooh, Miss Linda said she loves watching you make her day when you're in a good mood. Oh. Woo. Ooh. <laughs> Better always am be in a, a good mood. And am, I in a good, am I in a bad mood today? No, you're in a good mood today. <laughs> Miss Sue needs, said you need some Mucinex. <laughs> Mucinex, exactly. There's a little discussion this morning about my mood. So uh, anyway, huh? mm -hmm. anyway, there we go. Well, I hope y'all had a had a happy with us. I hope that all of our family down in Louisiana and Texas that it affected are okay. I know you don't have any power, so anyway, I hope you'll be back up soon. And hopefully we won't lose our power here as it comes through Little Rock in about 30 to 45 minutes. So anyway, y'all have a safe one. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. I'm sure we will one way or the other. We may just be floating down the river. That might anyway, be. Anyway, it could be. All right. Y'all have a blessed night. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.